Uh, 75 degrees in Tampa, 76 in St. Petersburg. I got 72 for you in Sarasota. We got some upper 60s as well as you're getting down into uh, the Lake Placid area. Humid. Dew point temperatures are back in the 70s and they're going to be hovering in the lower 70s really for the next few days. So you're going to feel that humidity kind of oppressive out there to go along with those 89, 90 degree water temperatures. So high pressure continues in control, giving us that south wind. Here's what's going on to the northwest. So that line of thunderstorms continues this morning. We actually had one of these counties blinking in purple just a couple of minutes ago. And what that is, is a confirmed tornado was on the ground. Looks like that they have expired that particular warning, but it was just to the southwest of St. Louis. And St. Louis right now is under a severe thunderstorm warning. And some of these winds have been unreal. And a lot of the damage that happened in Oklahoma happened overnight. So we're not going to know until the sun comes up this morning what really happened out there. Cincinnati under the gun later today for more severe storms. And then it backs up again from northeast Texas all the way through Kentucky for Wednesday as the severe weather just continues day after day after day. Not here. Here, partly cloudy, hot, humid, 10%. That's it on a rain chance today with your high near 90 degrees. Tonight, mild and muggy with a low in the mid-70s. And we're back up near 90 again tomorrow, maybe 91 for you. Uh, and again, keeping the rain chances on the low side. Light chop on the coastal waters. Enjoy that, boaters. We'll be running lower 90s all the way through the end of the week, at least.